last month I sent my subscribers an email with me playing the Gavotte movement from the 6th Bach Suite. This is the very video you're looking at right now. In the email I talk about the 6th Suite being written for a cello with 5 strings, whereas mine is like a typical cello which only has 4. Soon afterward I got an email from my subscriber David, who was asking if unusual tunings come up very often in the cello repertoire. While I wouldn't say that this is something that happens a lot, there are two pieces that immediately sprang to mind. Alright, pay close attention here because this is the sound of my cello as I'm tuning it up for practice. Now you'll hear me change the tuning to play the solo cello sonata by Kodai. That piece is awesome, but now that that's over, let's move on to Bach's fifth suite, which has modified tuning as well. Just let me tune my A string down a whole step to a G. And now I'm ready to play. awesome to take note of is how for both the Kodai and the Bach, changing the tuning changed the resonance of the cello um, because the, the strings that are now open, and of course the open strings are the ones that vibrate and resonate the most, those notes have changed. And it also changes the timbre of the strings, like the quality or the color that you hear. <laughs> Changing the tuning of cello and violin strings is a lot more common in folk music than it is in classical. As you've seen in just two examples, there are different ways of altering the tuning, and in classical music this technique is referred to as scordatura. Before I go, I thought I'd show you a little clip that's been popular on social media. I had my camera on while I was tuning my cello one day, and the results were pretty funny. I hope you enjoy. 